Peter, under revelation from the Father, Peter speaks out. He says, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And then Jesus responds and says, Peter, you are Peter. And upon this rock, I will build my church. The revelation he just spoke, given to you by the Father. This truth that you just spoke, that this man, this Jesus, is the Christ, the Son of the living God. On this revelation, on this truth, on this Petra, on this big unshakable rock, I will build my church. The church is built on an unshakable foundation. Time can come and go. Armies can come and go. The devils can come and go. The church will not be shaken. Because it is built on Petra. It is built on Christ who is the unshakable eternal rock of ages. So I want to bring to us four instructions on how to advance boldly. Identify your territory. What territory does God want you to conquer in 2019? Well, look from where you are. Where are you today? If you're a student, look. There are students around you. If you're in college, look. The whole college campus is around you. Maybe that's your territory. If you're a working professional, look. There are colleagues in your workplace. Maybe that's your territory. Look from the place where you are. Identify your territory. Ask God to speak to you. God, what is the territory you want me to conquer for the, to extend your kingdom? Where do you want me to advance boldly so that I could be somebody through whom God's kingdom will advance? Position yourself in faith. In order to advance boldly, remember it's a walk of faith. When you go to the gates of hell, you got to go in faith. Got to go boldly. Get ready on the inside. Be strong in your inner man. This is a spiritual battle. So build yourself up on the inside. Get rid of destiny blockers. You say, what do you mean by destiny blockers? You know, it's all the wrong things that the devil tries to put in our lives to rob us of what God's called us to do. Things like unbelief, disobedience, strife, rebellion. Self, pride, uh, fleshly lusts, all these things are, are, are tools that the enemy uses. Receive divine strategies. Receive divine strategies. Receive ideas from the Holy Spirit. God, you're saying at once boldly. This is the territory you want me to take. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm positioned myself in faith. How do I do it? God will give you the ideas. Advance boldly and take possession. You have to advance boldly and take possession. Meaning, step out. This is a journey of faith. If you want to take possession, you've got to get up. You've got to go out. You can't sit down in your own same place and say, Oh, I'm going to conquer territory. I'm going to go to the gates of hell. No, 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 no. You've got to get up and go out. Go forward. Don't sit down there. Step out. Go forward. And Refuse compromise. Satan came to Jesus and he said, you know, Jesus, I'll give you a shortcut. All the kingdoms of this world, I'll hand it off to you. Just bow down and worship me. I'll make it easy for you. That was a dangerous compromise. The word of the Lord for 2019. Advance boldly. Take new grounds to extend God's kingdom. Let's say this together. I advance boldly to take new ground to extend God's kingdom. I have kingdom power and authority vested in me. The powers of darkness cannot hold me back or pin me down. The forces of the enemy cannot restrain me or contain me. The greater one is in me. God's power through me is more than what the devil can handle. Amen.